Welcome all to welcome all to Gregor the only video. Welcome all to Gregor the only video. So, um, I am picking up Tiny Space Program once again because apparently it's um, doing pretty well on my t YouTube channel. So, here we are back. Um, I'm starting a new fresh save because I have no idea who I was the last time, and I don't want to rewatch my videos because I don't like the sound of my voice. I'll get over it. So, um. Here we go, we're going into the game, starting out with tutorial once again. So welcome to Tiny Space Program. Yay. You run a space company by exploring and building bases on moons and planets you develop your company. Nice. There are many ways to progress through the game, sending tourists, mining resources, or just by exploring planets. Or by just exploring planets. But before we start and land on a planet, you first need to send a satellite and scan it. Newly scanned planets also provide some credits and tech as a reward. So let's build a satellite. Go to build. This guy. I'm assuming we want to build this thingy. <gasps> build. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Let's think about it. Really long. Hard. Yeah, we're pretty sure. Yay, we built our first satellite. And it comes with a free rocket. Nice. Alright, let's send it. Let's come here. Let's select destination. From here, you select the destination. Select the blue planet called Earth. Oh, I always thought it was Europa. Look at this gray dot it appeared over there. More stuff. Stuff changes. If moons are present, they are displayed here. Now select the unexplored moon. Inspect. Scan. Take off. Take off. Such a pretty rocket. Zooming through the sky. It's beautiful. Fading to the night. Stage one complete. Initiating stage two. Pretty. Is that stage two complete? We're on to stage three now. I think so. Eight seconds there. It took us two weeks to get to the moon the first time, and it's only taken us what? Twenty seconds. And we're scanning. 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 And we're done. Well, you look at that. Now you have scanned the moon. The scan indicates that you can land here. But first, you need to research a capable ship that is able to land on the moon. Research. Moon lander. Let's go. Oh, research was fast. Alright, send the moon lander to the moon. We need guys. I'm gonna adjust this. Let's name it. What should we name it? Oh. Fine, I won't name him. Now let's select a destination. Spect moon. And we'll land. And I will see you on the moon. Hey, we made it to the moon. Nice. Okay. There are many things you can do here. Select the ship and see what you can do to earn credits. Such pretty graphics. Alright. Ooh, we can do lots of stuff. Oh, no, we can't do that. has no requirements. <laughs> Sci-fi. 
seismic sample. Um, collect samples of stone? No. Explore landing site. Okay. Huh? I think right now we're gonna collect samples of stone and then come home. And why, you might ask, am I doing that? Because I will show you in a little bit. Actually, not, I'll show you right now. Quests. Build my first satellite. Scan the moon. Build my first spaceship. Land my spaceship. Bring back your spaceship to Earth after landing on the moon. Okay. Ooh, daily task. Collect some very rare materials and samples. Location, moon. Got nine hours to do this. And distance from landing area is 70. Nothing there. Build an outpost on the moon. Collect a total of 25 stone samples. Make money by collecting gold ore. Hire five workers on satellites. So, for now, I'm going to follow the quests. I don't want to get ahead of the quests. Oh, frick. Hey, look. I'm back in the moon. Just in here. I want to name my guy. Got our stones. <coughs> and we are now going to head back to Earth. We. Five minutes to get home. Okay. Let's go! Yay! There's a few more things that we need to know. Like what? We can cycle through. Oh, I already did that. Explore the star map. Nice. Buying and selling stuff. Yay! And apparently a whole lot more. So. We have nothing on the moon. So, can't do that. System settings. This game is a solo project from only one developer, but also with lots of support from the players. His goal is to add many more features such as space stations, colonies, astronaut perks, and many more spaceships. Is anything wrong, broken, or we want to give him feedback and tell him how awesome of a game this is? Please share it in the Discord. He hopes that we love it. He hopes that we love what has been created so far. And I do. This is a pretty fun game. I'm just not one for playing long, tedious games, but anyway, that's what the audience wants, that's what the audience will get. So, let's continue with the game. Uh, all the different languages that are somewhat supported, not exactly, they're trying. And then, those settings, so. That's quests, return home. Now to set up a base on the moon, on the moon. So this is for tourists. What type of thing that the tourist wants to do? For the space station. If they want to land on the planet. If they want to fly by the planet. If they want to go on an actual expedition. Or see a famous landmark. So and VIPs. Don't know what that is, those are. Those are your tourists. Here you can hire more um, workers or astronauts. Yeah, 
here you can build more spaceships an upgrade to hangar uh, huh. upgrade build and repair upgrade to hangar will build repair facilities which will provide passive repairing of ships on earth plus 25 durability per hour for building nice so now we have research um, propulsion we've got chemical efficiency iron efficiency off-world research ah. we have that 1170 credits 1170 so I'm going to be careful with that and I'm going to do this guy because I want a better lander because we look at the assignment we need five building materials two tools and at least one pack of life support that is five six seven eight items if we were to try to do that with this which only carries three that requires three separate trips hold on does it show the cost not showing us the cost to build it oh. um, speed it over 20 doubles that nice but I want to do this guy because um, he has higher research Be usable Okay, well, I'm gonna research him. Go. Two minutes. Okay. Come here. So, so, I'm gonna stop at 50, because if you notice, there were 51 before. We need 5, 2, and 1, I believe. 5, 2, and 1, yes. Five building materials. One, two, three, four, five. Two basic tools. And a life support. So five, six, seven, eight. Now it's carried nine. So I'm going to take a second life support. Can I build the ship yet? Nope, I can't build the ship yet. Add a bad. No! New ship. <gasps> hey, look at that. New ship. Okay, let's build. Yes, I'm sure. Ooh. Okay, rocket is free. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And two, three, two. Oh, there's two people. Okay. We got that. We got cargo. We got astronauts. We do not have any ship scans. Let's select destination Earth, Moon. Inspect Moon. Let's set to. We don't want to do a flyby, we want to land, because there's no dock space station there. Oh. Launch. And land. Outpost. Okay. Okay, we will go.
Do, 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 do. Life support, so. Now let's build a new ship. Yeah. Mm, researching. Do we want to research anything? Oh, hello. A new ship. Hmm, not so fifty. Um, nine components, so that just says a uh, That's what I'm gonna do. This one's completely empty. It's not, oh, actually, okay. Um, no. Look at that! It just popped up. Scan for resources. Okay. Now we want to build that. Five tools, seven materials, and ten life support. But come here, come this, and we transfer that to the planet. We transfer that to the planet. Now, yeah. this guy. Unpack. I'll take these guys. Transport has twenty range. We need that kind of a ship. Okay, well. Oh, we're 
were to scan for resources. Okay, this. We need five tools and seven materials. But we do have the life support. We'll quickly do that. So five tools and two materials. Yes. No, five tools and four materials. Five tools, four materials. Dang it. Ah, oh, look, quest complete. Set <coughs> thing up a base. Collect. Building up post in the moon. Collect. Assignment. Scan surroundings. Bring three rubber parts to the moon and assemble them from the ship or at the outpost. Probably the best second building to build a savage pronix. I have five orcas from the astronaut center and bring them to the moon. Frick. Okay. I just wanted to click, click, click on that. Huh. Guess not. Five tools and four materials. Okay. Five tools, four materials. One, two. Oh, frick. Okay. We'll bring back a bunch of moon rock. Earth we go. Something's being done, I don't know why. Oh, we got the rover. Okay. Ah, 
está claro. Yay. Howdy, dude. That's what he's doing. He's scanning for resources. Okay. How do we done? Half an hour. Now, I need... Five? Yes. One. Two. Three. Four. So. <laughs> First, let you know that the market price will fluctuate depending on how often and how much you buy of certain items. So. Let's ignore the last minute. Okay. It's commanded and it's been destroyed. Huh. That was a price jump. Nice. Okay. See how the prices fluctuate? I don't know if that's gonna jump or not. If I have to buy it 10 times in a row, it's not just 500. Because 5 times 10 should be 500. 24 extra bucks. Fifty times twenty-five. That's one thousand two hundred and fifty. This added hundred and sixty-three bucks on top of that. That's why I always stick with the times one. Because the numbers are correct. I will see you. Well, hold on. Um, yeah, he's scanning. Yeah. So, I realized I just made a mistake. I thought I recorded the last section of this episode, but apparently, I clicked the wrong button. So, but we finished wrapping up. We got a hydroponics bay. We got one worker here. We have uh, three astronauts. That one's going out and doing some quests. Um, we do have a rover. It is right now this guy is using it. Um, quests up in a corner. We finished our daily quest. Um, we still need to bring up five workers. We've got about almost 300 bucks in cash, not quite. So, um, I did though. So we have our quests, our daily quests, weekly. Well, actually. These are assignments, and this is a qu oh, qu mile, milestones, yeah. 
assignment, daily assignment, and weekly assignment, and milestones. So, so milestones I will just passively work on. So if we get them, yay. If not, we'll get them eventually. The reason why is this particular one, the satellites, is the more bodies, celestial bodies, planets, moons, things like that, that we unlock, um, the greater the range that this daily assignment will go to. Right now, I want it to be on planets that I can actually access and do um, expeditions on. So at this point, I'm not going to send any satellites in this playthrough to any other planet until I have the infrastructure and budget, so to say, set up to where I can build other bases on other planets so I can actually do expeditions on those places. So, for now, while yes, I can get money and stuff from sending satellites there, I also want to be able to use those daily assignments because they give you more rewards than um, completing a milestone does. So, I'm going to ignore these milestones and just let them get um, passed off passively compared to trying to actively hurry up and get these done. I'd rather I want these to be done in the future, not now. So we can get more of these. So, 